Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog, girl. My hair hurts. Mm, 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 mm. Can I sit y'all on this? <sighs> it's Saturday. When I started this vlog a -thon, I started off like one day ahead. Baby, we, we here with it. I'm so happy it ends tomorrow because I just... I don't know. I think I'm just in a bad mood right now because my head hurt. I feel like pressure on my eyes. Like I just, mmm. This may sound weird, but I really feel like I need some more, some new pillows. Like my pillows suck. I feel like the way I sleep too. I feel like my head be all like turned. Like I don't know, but it's Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm going to dinner tonight. I'm so excited. I'm going with Britt. We're going to um, a oyster place, a seafood place. I forgot what type of place she said it was, but we're getting oysters. So, yeah, I want to crimp my hair, but I don't want hard crimps. I kind of want it to be like wavy, so I don't want to use like no holding spray on it or anything. So, we're going to see if we can get that going on. Um, I also want to. I was going to say I want to pick out an outfit, but I already picked out my outfit for tonight. It's going to be something simple, um, real simple, but it's cute. It's like this body. Y'all will see, y'all will see, y'all will see. I'm going to try to take a full body picture in it because I really like the outfit. I'm wearing these red patent leather heels that I purchased like last year sometime, but I've never worn them. So I want to wear those. And yeah. I'm just gonna take it easy, child. I don't know what we're gonna be doing in this vlog. Probably crimping our hair for sure because I wanna do that. Um, whew. We'll see what else we get into. But I just wanted to start off the vlog, let y'all know what was going on. I'm sorry my energy is kinda low. My head hurts. I just took something for it. Um, so hopefully it'll be gone soon. Yeah, we're going to go walk the dog because he's right up on me like, babe, I'm ready to go outside. We're going to walk the dog and I'll be back. I don't know if I told y'all that I ended up naming this plant Lily. And look, she has another leaf coming in. This is the one that came in. This is the latest leaf that came in. And now she has another one coming in. This is for my dog parents. When you walk your dog, do you stay out there until they pee and poop, no matter how long it takes? Or do you do what y'all usually do, and then if they don't poop, you come back in the house? Because Sebastian just pissed me off. He, like, that's my dog. <laughs> He's going to be three years old. I've had him for almost three years. I know his routine. When he was smaller, like younger, he would go outside, he would pee, and he would poop twice. He don't do that no more. Now he's just a pee and a poop. No matter when we take him outside, he's going to pee and poop. He is being so nosy. The lady is out there like walking around with packages. So he's just like trying to see what she doing. Other people are like walking their dogs. He trying to see what they doing. You peed, but you did not poop. I'm like, bro, I'm out here in my pajamas. You want me to be out here for an hour when I know that you can go to the bathroom, but you're just choosing not to because you want to pay attention to everything else happening around you. We walked around the complex like two times. I'm like, I'm going in the house. It's me in another two hours. I'm going in the house. Like, how do y'all do that? Like, am I wrong? Probably am. Y'all probably do think I'm wrong, but he'll be okay. Um, But he, like, he goes outside early in the morning when Dion, right before Dion goes to work. So if he's not going to school, which a lot of people always ask me, like, where's Sebastian? Where's Sebastian? For the people that do not know, Sebastian goes to school. He goes to school three to four times a week. So he don't be in his house. <laughs> so he'll go like, I like to do every other day because he'd be exhausted. Sebastian is very active. So that's when y'all see him and he's home and he's lounging around. That's like his day off because... When he be at school, like, they have, like, nap time. I don't know if they be letting him walk around during sleep time or what, but he is just full of energy. So, when he's at school, he's constantly playing, running, 
just being active. And when he comes home and like that day after when he don't go to school, he sleep all day. That's all he do is sleep. I get some people like, oh, Sebastian, Sebastian should be more active. You should do this with him. You need to take him on walks. I'm like, baby, y'all just do not know. My dog is well taken care of. He has a membership at Fetch and when he goes to Fetch, he gets down. He don't play. So when he get hit, when he's home and he gets his time to just lounge around and be lazy, I allow him to do so because that's what he want to do. <laughs> I said all that to say in the days like when I'm watching him, he don't go to school. He um, Dion takes him to use the bathroom before Dion go to work. Dion go to work like seven o'clock in the morning, so he gets up around six forty five, takes Sebastian out, and then Sebastian go back to sleep with me. When I wake up, I take him out like an hour after we wake up. So today I woke up kind of late. Right now it's 12.43. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, you're ready to use the bathroom again. Especially if you went downstairs, ate, drunk, whatever you did. You're probably ready to use the bathroom again. So why are you playing with me? Ugh. Mind you, I haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth today, y'all. I, <laughs> I need to... um. Yeah, but I wanted to straighten up my desk in my office because I feel like me doing this vlogathon, I feel like it's I kind of been on go mode. I haven't had time to just stop and do things. So yeah, now that the vlogathon ends tomorrow, we're gonna be on a regular scheduled program. I want to get my life together. Like I need to get my life together. I think I'm gonna take a little break too. If you watched yesterday's vlog, then you know how this area was looking. It's so much better now, so I'm very happy about that. I've been sitting here trying to think, like, what do I want to do for my birthday? I've told y'all many times, your girl is turning 30. So, I've been trying to think, like, what the freak do I want to do for my birthday? Like, where do I want to go? Because I'm not having a party. I ain't... <laughs> we ain't doing that. I'm traveling. I want to go to some places. I want to experience some new things. I really wanted to go somewhere I've never been I really, 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 really want to go. I think I told you at the beginning of the year, the top places I really want to go was Turkey. I want to go to Africa. And I want to go back to Dubai. Because when I went to Dubai, that was so many years ago. And I ain't had no money. <laughs> like, we still had a good time with the money we had and the things we did. But I just feel like now I would be able to have even... I will be able to have a great time because, you know, I have more money now. So, I really kind of want to go to Dubai and I really want to kind of go to Africa. And I really want to go to Africa, specifically Kenya, because I want to stay at that giraffe hotel. Like, I've been following them on Instagram for years and I just really want to go. I really, really, really want to go. So, I'm thinking about that. Um, and how I can make all of that happen. But I think for sure Dubai. I think I got the days that I want to do Dubai. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get ready to lock that in. Like buy my ticket. Because you know the closer it get. The more the tickets get. And uh, the first time I went to Dubai. I stayed at the Five Palm Jeremiah. It was 10 out of 10. A great experience. A beautiful hotel. So I'm going to look back at that hotel. But I'm also going to check more hotels. Because times have changed. Let me look through my archives. I don't remember if it was 2019 or 2018 that I went. I feel like it was 2018. Now like when I go places like that. I want to buy myself something. Like I want to buy a new bag. Or a piece of jewelry. Or something to. You know have to look back on. That wasn't even that long ago. 2019, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. I guess five, six years ago. My wig was so bad. Like, the best thing I could have ever done for, my, for myself was let the wigs go. Because, well, this picture is cute. This used to be my favorite picture of myself. This picture is still just so freaking cute. A vibe called Bless. Dubai is so beautiful. So glad I got to experience it. Period. But look at this wig, y'all. You know when they be like, this is giving bad wig, soft life. Like, baby. What? Y'all. OMG. 
Yeah, that was that was a really nice. That was a really nice experience. And then even that vlog, I think I done private all those vlogs. Like I didn't know what I was doing, child. I could create such good quality content. So I definitely want to go back to Dubai. I remember going and just like seeing all the stores and just seeing how the people lived and just being so amazed. So I really want to go back and I really want to experience that. Um, so yeah. Do y'all remember these braids? Y'all look at me. Oh, this was in 2018. I remember people used to wear their hair like this. This is actually really cute. I have my hair like this to go to Bahamas. What else can I show y'all? What else y'all want to see? This is like when I first started my YouTube. Like when I first kind of started doing YouTube. This was 2019. This picture. Look at her. Let me show y'all one more. These are all my archived pictures, y'all. These are all ar archived. Oh, this was my 25th birthday. Oh. 25 is crazy. I made this cake too. <sighs> Look at her. Life just goes so fast. I swear, like. <sighs> One minute you're 25. Next minute you're 30. Hey y'all, I am about to go to Tropical Smoothie. I told y'all I gotta get ready. I wanna crimp my hair, well wave my hair. But here's the thing, it's three o'clock. I wanna get ready earlier because I wanna make some content for TikTok, so I wanna get ready earlier. Why am I out of breath? I'm about to go to Tropical Smoothie because I signed up like last week and once you sign up and you complete your first order, you get a free smoothie and mine expires today. So I want to be able to get that. So I'm going to go get the smoothie. And I'm also getting a chicken bacon ranch club sandwich situation. So we're about to head out and do that now. When I come back, we're going to, well, I'm going to finish straightening up this room. And then we're going to crimp our hair. So I'll see y'all in the car. Y'all, that sandwich, I look insane. That sandwich was so freaking good. It was the Chipotle Chicken Club from Tropical Cafe Smoothie. 10 out of 10. And I always just get the Bahama Mama Smoothie because this is the only one I've ever tried. Let me know what y'all get, which one y'all like. Mm. Let me tell y'all what happened last night, the craziest shit. So, Roscoe passed away a year ago in January. We're in March, so it's been a year and about two months. Why did Dion get a missed call, like, I think yesterday or Thursday? He got a missed call on his phone, so he listening to the voicemail. <laughs> it's not funny. Why did the people um, where we had to take him at, and we got, like, his paw print and ashes and everything. We been got the ashes back, like, a year ago. But the paw print thing take, like, a little bit longer. Why did the people call and say, oh, Roscoe, Roscoe's paw parent is ready. I told Dion, I forgot all about that. Like, it's literally been over a year. Y'all calling and talking about is ready. I don't know if they just forgot to call or if it's really just getting ready. Like, maybe they forgot to put it in. But that is so weird. So, we got to remember next week to go pick it up. But that as I'm listening to myself talk, they just forgot to call us to tell us it was ready because Roscoe was cremated, which means they been did it before they cremated him. That is the weirdest thing. Like, it's been over a year. Literally over a year. And you're like, oh yeah, it's it's like, it's like you know how like they have like the clay stuff and you can like put your hand in it and, and make an imprint. We got one for Juicy too, but it's just now getting ready. That was crazy. Mm. I'm about to go back home. And I told y'all I began to start slowly getting ready. Mm. 
now that it's time to crimp the hair y'all I don't even know if I want to crimp the hair I'm going to do one piece to see I really want to curl the hair but I'm going to wait till I'm getting ready to take the hair out because in order to curl it I need some layers and there ain't no layers in this hair so we won't be curling it right now my waiver is the one from bedhead we're gonna try one piece first so i really just want waves i don't want no hard deep curls i mean cramps one two three I changed my mind. I crimped like two pieces and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to do this. One, because it's going to take too long. Two, I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I kind of either want to wear my hair straight or I kind of want to wear it pulled back because the shirt I'm wearing is like off the shoulder some. Like this. So I kind of just want this area to have nothing. Maybe my hair pulled back. Serving face. <laughs> I don't know we'll see we'll see what the makeup is giving but I'm kind of feeling my hair kind of like pull it back with a cute earring so that's what we might do the crimps was just I just really wasn't feeling it 549 um I'm debating you know my videos usually will go up at 6 however it's 549 and I just feel like I could put the video out, but it's a whole bunch of nothing really going on in the video. So, I could just not put a video out today and put the video out tomorrow. It'll be longer. It'll be more content. Um, so, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know. I say I'm gonna do something then I'm gonna do it meaning I said I was gonna upload every day so I want to upload every day I think I'm gonna just upload the video um, which means this will probably be like the, I mean it don't have to go up at six it that's the thing it doesn't have to go up at six by the way as you can see finish with my makeup it looks really good um, I like the way it looks. Hopefully it photographs well. I gotta do my hair. My part is looking a little not defined. Okay. I'm gonna let this flat iron heat up along with the hot comb and then I'm gonna press my hair out. Yeah, I mean the waves, they look okay. Like... Maybe I'll try it another day. I think I just sat here and decided I'm going to just upload the video tomorrow. I'm just, uh, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Like, and I don't even know what just came over me, but I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Like, go away and leave me alone. Because I was in a pretty good mood today. And then I was just like sitting here doing my makeup, watching some vlogs and stuff. And now I'm not in a good mood that's why you really have to like watch what you watch and the things you um, partake in the people who are around you the people you talk to because that type of stuff can get in you and if you're watching somebody and they're complaining and they're always in a bad mood and they're this and they're that that stuff can come in within you you know what I mean like that's why you will hear a lot of people saying like they don't watch scary movies they don't watch that type of stuff because they feel like that type of stuff can travel to them and it's just like that's so crazy because I'm in real life right now witnessing that like I was in a great mood I'm doing my hair I'm doing my makeup like <clears throat> next thing you know I just start feeling like down out the blue like I'm just like damn what is wrong with me it's a beautiful day outside. I'm getting ready, getting ready to go to dinner, and I'm just like, mm, I just feel 
sad. Like, I just feel sad. And I think it has something do, to do with the content I was just sitting here consuming. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's just a lot sometimes. But I just wanted to share that with y'all because be very aware of the things you allow yourself to consume because those things can get within you and next thing you know you're not in a good mood or you're sad or you're being negative or whatever and you don't even know why you don't even know why that's why a lot of times when I'm not in the best moods I don't like to get on camera because I don't want to push that energy off on y'all because energy travels for sure so keep that in mind y'all when y'all watching things when you're consuming things just keep that in mind i'm really just trying to press out those pieces right now that i crimped because baby if you've ever crimped your hair you know it's like almost impossible to get that crimp from out of your hair but with that being said the video going up tomorrow it is what it is um, it'll be longer, so y'all should really enjoy that, especially on a Sunday. And y'all actually see me get dressed tonight and go go to dinner, so yeah, I think it'll be worth it. I hope y'all understand. And then come to, come Monday, we're gonna be on a regular schedule program, girl. On our regular schedule weekly vlog program, but oh y'all, baby, I went to the rooftop. Port me up some jam jar. We gonna sip on this. <sighs> Scent of the night is going to be, I'm gonna wear my Chanel Mademoiselle body cream. And then I'm gonna wear this Woody Oak Moss. This is from Dossier. This is like the Dossier version of Chanel Mademoiselle. Mm, it just smells so good. Chanel Mademoiselle is just uh, she's just like an OG for me. It's like that OG sophisticated woman going out smelling good. Like, mmm. I want to show y'all my outfit just in case I don't get any pictures. Let me get closer. Y'all can't see. Mmm. Because of that light over there. Like so 